In the latest saga of the ongoing royal drama, Meghan Markle finds herself at the center of controversy once again as Lady Colin Campbell's bombshell book exposes shocking details about Archie during her pregnancy. Hello YouTube fam what's popping? Hope y'all are doing great. Well it's just box again with another banger. So if it's your first time here make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. The revelation has sent shockwaves through the media and royal circles, sparking intense speculation and debate about the truth behind the claims. According to excerpts from Lady C's book, Meghan Markle allegedly panicked upon learning certain details about her son Archie during her pregnancy. The book purportedly delves into the circumstances surrounding Archie's birth, including discussions within the royal family and concerns raised about his potential title and status. The timing of Lady C's book couldn't be more fraught, coming amidst an already tumultuous period for the royal family. Meghan and Prince Harry's decision to step back from their roles as senior royals and their subsequent move to the United States has been the subject of intense scrutiny and criticism. The couple's bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey earlier last year only added fuel to the fire, with Meghan alleging racism and mistreatment within the royal household. Now, with the release of Lady C's book, the spotlight is once again on Meghan Markle and her relationship with the royal family. The alleged revelations have reignited speculation about the true nature of Meghan's experiences as a member of the royal family and the extent to which she was accepted or ostracized within the institution. It might seem like an idyllic escape into the lifestyle of the rich and eco-conscious when you first see it. There is a resemblance to another high-end Californian brand, Flamingo Estate, by those with a keen eye for the luxury lifestyle market. The latter is known for its expensive heirloom tomato scented dish soap and honey, which seems to have caught the eye of the woman. It is not unusual for entrepreneurs to draw inspiration from successful ventures. Observers can point out the similarities between the two estates. It's hard to ignore the parallels between the target market and the product offerings. One can't help but wonder if Megan's visits to Flamingo Estate served more than just a casual interest in their products. She was on a scouting mission for her own brand. The premature launch of American Riviera Orchard raises more eyebrows. Launching a brand without a finalized product range is just like setting sail without a compass. At this stage, it appears that the venture is a collection of ideas and patents rather than a solid lineup of products ready to wow the market. This approach is fraught with risks and can be perceived as a sign of hasty decision-making rather than strategic planning. In the realm of business, Authenticity and originality are as important as the products themselves, because they are tied so closely to the personal brand of a public figure. The foundation of a successful brand in this space is built on unique offerings and genuine stories. One can't help but ponder whether this venture is a missed opportunity as American Riviera Orchard teeters on the edge of being a mirror image of Flamingo Estate. One is left with mixed feelings as the curtains go up. Is this the birth of a new luxury lifestyle titan, or a repeat of the previous one? For now, it stands as a testament to the fine line between inspiration and imitation in the world of celebrity-driven brands. Questions about the depth of market research and understanding of consumer needs are raised by the haste with which American Riviera Orchard has been launched. Launching a company is like laying down the foundations for a skyscraper. It requires careful planning, understanding of the terrain, and a clear plan for what to build.